America uh, in the 50s, it was a shock that Russians launched the first Sputnik and uh, the first man in, in, in space. And in the Russian case, it was quite another ideology. It was a um, re really religious, artistic and philosophical motivation behind it and a readiness to sacrifice. As a schoolboy, I was 11. I remember that our lesson in school was interrupted and the teacher told us, you should hear the announcement on the radio. And the radio announced that the first man in open space, Yuri Gagarin, was just launched. It was quite an event. Please tell me how you feel. I'm very happy. Good, yeah. Like a virgin. <laughs> I do want to tell you that I do plan to come back down. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I think space is very crowded. <laughs> <laughs> kind of out of body and in your body at the same time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're kind of empty and weightless, yeah. floating, yeah. which is really bizarre. Yeah. At the same time, you're totally aware of like all your body like mm. in your throat. Yeah, yeah. So it's just a super strange feeling. Yeah. Um, also, your whole body tingles. Mm, yeah, that's how I found it, yeah. And it's hot. Mm. You feel hot and tingly and anticipatory yeah. and kind of bright-eyed and gleaming, <laughs> which is essentially a pre-drug experience. Yeah. So all these three sensations sensations are really odd and then the whole build-up because it's all cued really yeah, nicely yeah. you hear the bell you hear the instructions yeah. and then, the, then it all goes light the whole camera goes bright light yeah. so the whole cue is kind of theatrical yeah. but it's intense man it's really amazing the first time it's absolutely amazing yeah. you start laughing you just start laughing for sheer amazement and oddity of it Tell me, 
a little bit about this film that you're making? It's a film called Otolith. Mm -hmm. Otolith are the crystals deep inside the inner ear. The film is about four women at different periods in history. The third woman is from the future and she lives in a time that um, the earth has been destroyed and the people have colonized space. She's living permanently in zero gravity. being children of NASA to quite a yeah, degree, yeah. how that differs, as well as um, how the poetics of space flight differs from our own kind of um, yeah. sci-fi stroke kind of Afrofuturist kind of take. Mm. That's what, again, that's what I'm really, really, really interested in, yeah. the interface between the history of Russian cosmism and Afrofuturism. Mm. As we know, I mean, how that kind of touches on yeah. everything from Sun Ra to Hawkwind, I mean. <laughs> Still can't get over how huge this, this aircraft is and, uh, uh, yeah. you know, loads of space to mess around in, so really fantastic. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, what can I say, it's always fantastic to fly. I'd do it again, although I may leave it until tomorrow rather than later this afternoon. I, um, I really recognise that mm. the control mechanisms for movement are fundamentally different if you do them in a certain way. Moon base or Mars colony. It's the, for me, it'd be what culturally would be the things you would take with us. What things would we want to generate and make, and what kind of ideas? So this is for me is like the first phase of that to see what is possible. And you don't quite know how it's happening, but all you know is you know, the ground is like doing like that. And then you realise it's not the ground; it's you going like that. But you're not doing anything. No, it's not your will, it's not even your muscles. It's just, it's just the whole nature of the space has totally changed. It's very, very bizarre. And you feel kind of high, quite physically high and sensationally, perceptually, phenomeno phenomenologically high. Because you're like, your whole blood is tingling, your skin is tingling, your face is like flushed, your eyes are like wide open. You're like, you're looking like, like this, like rapture, like the physical experience of rapture, it's really, yeah, very intense. And then it's all over, and then the whole build-up is very theatrical, and it begins all over again.